Hey everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In this one we're going to be going back and looking at RenPy. So we're going to jump back into the script file that we've already been creating from my previous videos. If you haven't followed along other videos, don't worry, it doesn't matter. This is not going to affect you in any way because the code that we're going to be adding isn't actually going to affect the rest of the script that we've written. So the first thing that we want to do for this tutorial is quickly talk about the problem that I see. And that is that the say screen, the screen where the speech appears in the bottom, is great for dialogue. But if you want to get the viewer's attention with a notification or a message or something, you might want a window to pop up in the screen that allows them that, that forces them to click a button in order for them to proceed and the best way to do that is to create a screen specifically for that purpose so that's exactly what we're going to do so we're going to create a new file we're not going to put this in the screens.rpy document because that to do that it's a big file and you'll just end up getting lost so we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this one uh, we're going to call this a guide screen .rpy like so. Now we're going to create our screen. So obviously the first thing we have to do is tell Rempire that it's actually a screen. Then we have to tell it the name of the screen. So I'm just going to call this game guide like so. And then first thing we want to do is obviously create a frame in that screen and we're going to have to give it some dimensions so let's say I want it to be located in the very center of the screen so we're going to type in x align 0.5 y align 0.5 and now we want to give it a size so based on a 1920 by 1080 screen you don't want this to be too big so we could say that it's got a minimum size on the x-axis of let's say 500 and then any message that we'll put in will wrap so the next thing we want to do is actually display a message now we can do this by passing in the message as a string into the screen so we're going to call this message actually I'm going to call this guide message because message itself is probably a reserved word there we go and now we're going to create a vbox And we're going to put our message in. So we're going to say text guide message like so. And then just to give us uh, a bit of space at the bottom, I'm going to add another text line in there like so. Now what we want to do is we need a button that we can click on which will close the window doesn't actually have to do anything other than close the window in other words it has to be an interaction so what we're going to do is create a button and we're going to give it some text and it's going to say close and then action return like so now theoretically that's all we should need. So if we come back into our script.rpy file and before we do anything else, we're going to put in some text that just says E, oi oi. Then we're going to call screen guide screen. And we're going to go back to our screen thanks game guide see it's a good job I double checked no one stopped me there game guide like so and then I'm going to say another message to say that was cool so now we need to put in our message so we're going to put this is a help message backslash n for a new line so you can have multiple lines that was a new line and that was two of them. Now let's see if that works, shall we? Give it a moment to have a think. 
oi oi this is a help message that was a new line so that was two of them close boom there you go and that's really all there is to it guys you can easily format that yourselves using the text and window formatting or style options all available on the Renpy documentation I hope you found that quick little tip useful and uh, give us a thumbs up a subscribe hit the notification icon and I will see you in the very next video thanks very much for watching bye bye